Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Unprogram series. I want to quickly talk about the idea of clickbait. Before that, if you haven't watched the Unprogram series, we take five minutes to talk about a topic. It's unedited and you just get the full experience. So here we go. The idea for me as far as talking about clickbait, it's, it's really annoying as a consumer, but also as a blogger myself and knowing that other people are out there doing that. For instance, we just had WWDC. And so I read a Christian tech blog that I follow pretty consistently, though new to the process for them. And they posted this article that said, because Apple has the iPhone uh, headphone jack and it's completely gone, they're going to be going out of business. Okay, that seems a little extreme. You've never really covered Apple in the past. You don't seem to have an inside scoop. Let me see what's going on with this. They cite one source in this process that says the exact same thing from just a general tech perspective. The general tech perspective doesn't give much except for an opinion piece. It's an op-ed. And within that, they don't identify possible financial impact. They don't talk about the research that Apple has done that this would be something that would be beneficial. They don't talk about the fact that they've been working on this design for however long it's been or the capital that Apple has, or the fact that it wants to invest in a future that is going to continue to grow. Now, is Apple doing iteration process with its phones? From the past, absolutely. We can see that clear as day, but trying to predict the future and trying to have these type of articles in and of itself is really difficult to, perspect, to predict. And then this guy is taking the, the op-ed piece and making it fact along with not even citing the original sources. And then he gives an article title where it's basically saying this some flamboyant thing that he really doesn't even justify within the article. So if you are one of those people that loves to read articles and loves to try to get the honest and latest tech news on different things, be careful what you're reading. Because when you see something like that and you already have a bias of Apple is terrible or Apple is amazing, you're going to go into it emotional. You're going to go into it in this this manner that, okay, maybe they know what they're talking about, and, and you give a little, a little bit of credence in that process because it's this little hot button issue that you're really working on. Be careful with that process. Use your mind and try to really figure out why is it that this person's doing this thing? Why is it they say that kind of, an, of a response? Does their article respond and, and validate that process? And on top of that, if it's something like this where they're trying to predict the future, are they going off of fact or is it just opinion-based process? Be careful with that. And if you're a blogger that does this, just stop. Because you're not helping yourself. And in fact, what's happening is, is I've had to remove this person from my RSS feed. I'll still follow them on Twitter, but I'm probably not going to click through as much. And so because of that one title and showing your article process, I've never really had a, a situation where he's gone in and tried to discover the truth for himself it's a lot of well this person said this and i agree with them and this person said this and i agree with them be careful with that because basically what you're saying is is you don't have your own opinion you're just feeding off of other people which not doesn't make me want to read that because it's just adding to the noise and this entire internet that is out there that has a whole bunch of people that have a ton of opinions I only really care about the facts in this process and how is it going to influence the Christian world? How is it going to influence technology for us to be able to deliver that message to people? And if it's just a simple op-ed piece, I can get that from someone that's actually been to WWDC. That would be a great reason for someone that's actually interviewed many of the people in the Apple staff. If you have none of that, you're basically trying to blog, to use a biblical iteration, trying to blog from sand as opposed to a solid foundation. Be careful with what you guys write out there. So if you're a reader, what do you guys think? Is this too over the top? If you're a blogger out there, am I being too picky in this process? I already know what um, Eric Dye would say and this is to write to the best of your ability and to do it with honesty and integrity in this process. I 100% support him in that. In fact, that's why I signed on with Church Mag is because he's not going to let you pull that stuff. So if you are a blogger out there, don't pull that stuff. And if you are a reader, be a smart consumer in that process. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Tell me down below with what you guys think, and I will catch you guys next time.